Hi, welcome back to another summer reading video, your Wednesday teen craft. I'm Josh. Today I'm going to be talking about tie-dyeing t-shirts. I woke up this morning and was like, today's a good day to dye. Tie-dye. If you haven't already signed up for the summer reading program, go ahead and do it. It's not too late. You can go to longbeach.beanstack.org, get signed up today, collect your prizes. The code for today's program is emerald and it's going to be somewhere in, in there. I'm going to be walking you through the steps. It's something you can do at home with a lot of basic ingredients. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you some of the supplies and some of the steps and we'll go from there. Okay. So we're going to get started with the materials and walk you through what you need to make this happen. So distilled white vinegar, uh, none of that apple cider stuff for this. Some table salt. gel food coloring in you know various colors whatever colors you like just some regular water a t-shirt white is best for this ziploc bag some rubber bands gloves and I highly recommend using a tablecloth or something to protect your table if you're doing this inside. The food coloring we're using is pretty potent, so it's very likely to stain everything it comes in contact with. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is soak your shirt in a one part vinegar, one part water mixture. You're going to want to do that for about an hour. And once it's done, you'll wring it out till it's damp, but not completely dry. So there's a lot of different methods to tie-dyeing. I'm just gonna do the spiral for today, but I'll include a link in the description about different ways and patterns you can use to get different results. So you're gonna find about the center of the shirt. You're gonna pinch and twist, and you want it to be neat as it comes in, as it starts to bunch up. It helps to kind of guide it along the outsides all right, so once it's all bunched up, we are going to wrap it in rubber bands. So for this design, I'm using four rubber bands. You can try experimenting with more or fewer, um, but your results might differ. So, you know, do it at your own risk. Okay, so to prepare the dye, we're going to take about half a cup of water and between 12 and 15 droplets. You can kind of adjust this ratio as you see fit. The more color you add, the more vibrant it will be. So I have these fancy squirt bottles. You can get these at the dollar store. They're pretty easy to get, but it really helps with uh, the dyeing process. So I'm going to start with my first color and really make sure you get in there. Move on to my second color now. Finish it up right here. Try not to leave any white spots. You wanna to try to cover up as much as you can. And so what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna kinda of clean my area and then flip it over and dye the other side. Um, you don't wanna just flip it over as it is because you've got dye all over the table and it's gonna smudge and smear and look all kinds of crazy. 
All right, flipping it over, doing the same thing I did on the other side. You want to try to match up the colors or not, you know, whatever you want to your, your shirt, your life. You might be tempted to just, you know, rinse it out and take care of it, but it's really important that at this stage, you put it in a bag and let it dry, let the dye sort of seep into the material and give it like overnight to seep in. Once you've finished the dyeing process, you're going to put it in the bag, let it set overnight. This is the longest part, you're gonna to have to wait. And once it's set overnight, you're going to put it in a mixture of water and half a cup of salt. That's actually gonna make the colors soak into the fabric and stay there. Once you've finished that, you let it soak for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then you give it a nice wash, and you're ready to wear your tie-dye shirt. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you make your own tie-dye t-shirt. Feel free to share it with us online. We're available on social media. You can hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at LB City Library. We wanna see what y'all are making. And yeah, have a great summer.